What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode of the leaderboard event. Now today we're getting ready to do another clean out for the day. I already got two done today. So as you can see by our magnetite bucket it is at 78%. And we are sitting on 256 ounces after paying the lease for both of the both of the clean outs. So not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit different way of doing my cleanouts now uh, I'm just gonna be loading up the hopper on this thing and same with uh, same with the wave table as we go that way as it goes through I can just constantly keep it going and at the end then we get a complete running total and I don't know I just I just seem to like it better that way it works out really nicely so I'm gonna get this gonna get this started and see what we end up with um, one thing to note is the the gold amounts have been dropping now we must have been on a, a pretty decent pretty decent spot to begin with and it just kind of been trailing off since so you know not a whole lot we can do about that but I guess we'll find out what we're at now because now we're back up towards the up towards the front again here and that was where we seem to have been finding our better gold so I'm not sure not a hundred percent sure what to expect but it would be nice if the numbers would go up again because we could really use really use the better numbers again that is for sure no, I'm not complaining about like a 150 ounce clean out or anything like that, but, you know, it never hurts to have better. I'd love to have, get back up into the 200 plus ounce range again and just keep, you know, hammering out the amount of gold we get so we're flying up the leaderboard again. That's my thoughts on it. And also, you know, the more gold we get, closer to my plan that I was so cryptic about in the last episode but hopefully that'll come together maybe this weekend if all goes well guess we'll have to see oh magnetite bucket is full that's awesome wait what broke Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What did we bust? What is that thing anyway? Huh. Oh, how does this come off? Crowbar? No. Screwdriver? Oh, wait, no, I think it's the wrench, ain't it? Hard to tell sometimes. Oh, yeah. Whoops, no, get back in there. Unplug it first. Alright, so this will be our first breakdown with this, and also, you know, the, our wave table hasn't broke down yet either, but I'm not even sure what this piece was called. I didn't, didn't see what it said. Uh, if you're wondering why our our cash amount is down in the dump so much it is because we had some more parts go out more of just our regular parts and I replaced them all every one of them with the reinforced version so it was expensive well I replaced all of them except the one with the reinforced version I was not about to pay the reinforced price of the one but it was all six of the trommel things what else was it? Uh, motor on the uh, duplex jig, as well as both pumps on it, too. Where is this damn piece? There it is. All right, so let's get ourselves one of these. Awesome. We did get another worker. It's just a hog pan container worker, unfortunately. So, you know, not a whole lot of you know what do I want to call it not a huge help um, 
I would have really loved to have got one for like one of the TDJ sluice boxes or even like the nugget trap sluice box. That would have been absolutely freaking awesome. But, you know, I guess I guess we get what we get. And it is what it is. It's so, all right. This is ready to rock again. We got a fresh bucket in there now. That one's 99%. That's good enough for my money. Let's plug this baby back in. Fire it on up. And here we go. So yeah, as you can see by mixing it together like this, we kind of end up with like a, a hodgepodge amount of a magnetite coming out so and the reason I'm doing this is that way like I said we get a complete gold total at the end so then we know exactly exactly how much comes out so that's my thoughts on that and it it just works so much better you there's no like there's no like downtime in between it it's always just constantly flowing whatever I'll get to that in just a minute There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just overthinking, but I don't know. I seem to I seem to like it like this. It works pretty damn good. So might as well keep her going with with it this way. And it's like I said, it works. Um, you're not gonna get to see individual bucket numbers, but you do get to see the whole total at once so that's why I, that's one of the biggest reasons that I like it so much is you get to see the whole total all at once so that's absolutely great then like I said you know you can tell exactly how much gold you get out of out of your whole clean out so again these are triple clean outs so you're not going to get like the numbers from the individual clean outs in between but you get that whole number and yeah I like it that way I do I do come on keep keep cranking through it are we gonna hit 400 ounces that I it's gonna be close I think we're gonna be a little bit shy but I think it's going to be very close. So, I guess we'll find out here pretty quickly anyway. Um, 400 might might happen. It might. Yeah, we're at 377, so, yeah. I know, it ought to be pretty damn close if it's not. Pretty damn close either way. I know one thing's for sure. We definitely got enough magnetite for our upgrade this time. Definitely have enough for it this time. Now we should be able to get for sure the gold loss is one done. For sure. Apart from that, I think it's probably not going to get a second one. But I don't know, I might be wrong. We do have quite a bit of magnetite, so. Now we're going to end up with like a bucket and a half, not quite, bucket and a third more. More than likely, but. I don't know, we'll have to see. We shall see, that's for sure. Alright, last bucket coming out of the magnetite separator now. Wave table is is also nice and slow but that's all right so we'll get our whole well, our whole running total here at the end grab that out might as well slap a bucket back in there and we'll take this one too we might as well we might as well take both dump them both off in the trailer and see how much we ended up with for three clean out so Oh, we are. We're well over 400 ounces. I guess I was a bit off. 
four and a quarter maybe definitely not 450 but maybe four and a quarter so as you can see I started mining up up here again we went all the way to the back as far as I could and I decided we'd start clearing up this strip here because I want to see if this is where the good gold lies now not all three clean outs are from there I think two are from back there and then the one is from here so hopefully hopefully we start seeing some some pretty nice numbers coming out again um, yeah I don't know maybe I should have maybe I should have drilled to find the hot spots I don't know but all I do know is I want all that gold all of it every little bit I can get we want it all all right before I forget I haven't forgot to do this lately so yeah I might as well get this done right away because otherwise you know I know how I am I'll end up forgetting and yeah that would be that would be bad mind you these are only the duplex jig buckets but still even if they let's say even if they only produce five ounces per bucket you know if we forget for one clean out that's 20 ounces all right so 187.55 is our total for this clean out that's that's not too bad not too bad at all let's get our water pump and stuff turned off here now so we're not wasting the water we are using the water tower now um, don't know what we're at for like water numbers should be like three quarters of a mil yet I think okay 794 okay you know we didn't get it full but we got it around like 800 when we started using it and you know this this freaking water pump here the electrical the electric motor thing for it went out again it's like yeah I just I can't be bothered to keep swapping that out just to fill that um, if we run out of water in that thing I'm just gonna buy it I'm not I'm done messing with that thing that that's stupid what you call it the water pump motor thing is just such a pain in the ass to have to constantly replace like I said it's a it's a daily thing it really is and yeah I just can't be bothered anymore be perfectly honest um is my truck over here or did i take it to fill up my fuel trailer okay it's up over here then so we're gonna unhook our fuel trailer grab our magnetite buckets and we're gonna head off to town so this thing broke down uh this stupid fan belt thing for this motor broke however the thing runs just fine without it so you know I can actually show you that quick let me hook up my other my other hose again nope not that one this one I'll actually show you guys here real quick so as you can see it's still it still shoots the shoots the pay dirt out and you know so I figure why why bother if it's gonna work you know what's the point what's the point of uh, what's the point of fixing it when when it works just the way it is so I don't know that's just my thought again bunch of broken parts in here we can actually load these couple up this is the last of our um, I think this is the last of our non reinforced parts that we change regularly so that should that should do us quite well as far as not having to pay for breakdowns but who knows who knows stuff always happens it always seems to happen when you don't want it to um, like all those trommel rollers going out six reinforced trommel rollers plus the uh, duplex jig pumps I think they're called and the one electric engine so as you can see we're not getting anything for this nothing so bye bye goes that 
for absolutely squat. So, oh well, it is what it is. You know, not a whole lot you can do about that. We are renting the machinery, so. And honestly, I really could care less about the about the money back from broken parts. Once the parts are broken, I could simply just throw them into oblivion and not care. To be perfectly honest, once they're gone, once they're gone, they're gone. That's my thought on it. I don't want to see them again. Don't want to have to deal with them again. Once they're broken, gone. Bye bye. Good riddance. I'm on to the next one. It would be really nice if we could get a damn mechanic, though. Or actually get a worker that is working on stuff that we actually want. Whoops. Bad driving. So, like I said, the uh, Trommel, the duplex jig sluices would be really nice to have workers on them. Would be really nice to have a worker in the uh, uh, shaker to Trommel sluice box, or I call it the nugget trap. So those are the ones that I'd really like. Uh, apart from that, you know, duplex jigs would be all right to have them auto swap buckets. So, you know, I, I'd be I'd be happy with any of them. Mechanic would probably be the best. I'd love to have a mechanic, but that's all right. You know, we'll get one eventually here. So, 13%. Let's dump it. See what we end up with. 8400 okay we might be able to do two upgrades I think we might well I'll meet you guys there in just a minute and we'll find out for sure all right guys here we are we are at the blacksmith now let's get some upgrades going and then let's melt down some gold so gold losses for sure 5291 yes indeed we will definitely be taking that and 2469 yes yeah, so we can get that as well absolutely fantastic so now from here all we have left is the tier 3 upgrades and then we can actually sell the magnetite now what's magnetite cost or sell for seven dollars seven and a third an ounce so you know it adds up quick I mean it's not a ton of money but you know money's money when you need it I guess so what do we got for prices now 6172 6172 13 wow and then 88 all right so I think we can I think we can make do with that all right 180 sure let's let's make ourselves a big one we need to save you know I'm just gonna make one more 180 bar and we'll call that good enough We'll leave the rest in our bank and, you know, just so it's there. We do have the one for this lease coming out. So 30% of what we got isn't going to be, it's not going to be 83 ounces, but, you know, it'll do for now. We don't necessarily need all that money anyway. But anyway, as you can see here with all the, with all the upgrades for 180 ounces, we only lose six. That's pretty good. That means we lose one ounce per 30 we smelt. That's not bad at all. And roughly 6K for 180 ounces. Again, that's not bad at all. Uh, can't complain about that. Five in-game minutes to smelt it down. Again, that's not bad at all. And look at this brick. It's 174 ounces. Look at the size of that. It doesn't look much bigger than the other ones, but... You know, that's still, still a nice sized bar. Looks great. It's going to spend really good. We can take it to the bank and make some bank. Ha ha ha. No, not really. That was a bad joke. That was horrible. But yeah, so we're going to be cashing in pretty good today. So, probably end up with just just about four hundred thousand dollars in our account now after this so doing pretty good doing pretty good so well on our way to you know either paying off our machinery jumping claims buying a claim you know because as you can see this one we could buy out for 600k but we're not gonna bother 
we're about halfway done with the claim and yeah it's just we might as well get something else from here so as you can see prices aren't too bad 300,000 to lease 1.2 million to buy 500,000 to lease 1.8 million to buy 800,000 to lease 2.4 million to buy wow that is expensive holy balls yikes 45% rent oof duh oh yeah what stock price 1190 yeah we're making some money look at that 428,000 yeah couple more couple more clean outs like that and we will be we'll be good to go so hope you guys are enjoying the content if you guys are enjoying the content make sure you guys smash the like button for me comment down below what do you guys think what do you guys think so far you know how do you think we're doing all sorts of stuff like that while we're right here I'm just curious I gotta see the summer prices on this expensive ass machinery that we're not gonna that we can't buy you know like the drill here drills only a hundred thousand when we do end up jumping claims we are gonna rent this so rankings yeah Ooh, it's even on sale so it'd be about nine hundred thousand a little over nine hundred thousand dollars to buy one holy balls Dump truck is definitely waiting. We're probably going to actually wait to purchase our rented machinery until like just before winter. Because then price is going to be like extra specially low. 600000 for the Trommel there. That's the one we have. Then the old iron is about three hundred, So not shabby. Not too shabby. Front end loader, 164. We're probably actually going to eventually buy one of these. And I'll show you why when we do. We are going to have to buy our generator. As you guys know, we bought the fuel tank. We did not buy the generator. So we're currently renting that. Glacier Creek. Oh, yeah. Let's just walk away from that. Yikes. That's scary. Oh, we can actually get the D-Rocker. Oh, I forgot this wasn't a... This isn't a... A DLC thing. Oh. Interesting. We got like the planter and then yeah 722,000 look at that thing isn't that a thing of beauty right there though eventually we might end up getting ourselves that DLC but from what I hear that DLC leaderboard is just yikes <laughs> that's all I got to say to that so anyway 10th episode let's show the show the current leaderboard numbers here let them pop up here and as you can see we are in ninth and we are pretty close behind so you know not doing too bad we do got a bit of work to put in in order to get up there but I think we can make it happen so yeah yeah I don't think we're only what 467 ounces behind rank 3 that's not too bad not too bad at all so anyway guys like I said that's gonna do it for this episode uh, sorry I didn't get more done today and sorry you're only gonna you're only gonna get one episode but you know today was a bad day for me it really was stomach was a very upset upset camper today for sure so anyway like I said that's gonna do it for this episode guys hope you guys enjoyed it and I appreciate you guys being here. So thank you guys so much for being here. And we'll catch you guys for the next episode. See you then.